for the What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? Turn the fucking uh, beat up! What is that? What? What is that? What is that noise? What noise? Really, sir, there wasn't any noise. The Alpine's bumping, but I need the volume higher. Bring the motherfucking the motherfucking ruckus! Bring the motherfucking ruckus! Turn me on till I turn them on. Let's get it on. Stop banging on the damn furnace. You hear me now? This is the last time. Musical sound. Bring in the ruckus. You motherfuckers be giving me pounds. And still we must bring the ruckus to all you motherfuckers. What up, though? It's the Ski Talk. I'm back. It's your boy, Uncle Skeet. Also, a no, low gross. I'm about to start going by my regular name now, I guess. I got to corporatize it. And I'm with Neezy. Neezy, what up, though? What up, what up? If I change my name, you got you still got to stay Neezy, though? Yeah, I'm not changing my name. My name is my name. Don't be telling me about my government name. It's my government name. My name is my name. How you feeling, babe? I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm just really sitting over here because I be... I then just found out that a lot of the lyrics to these songs that I thought was It ain't words, what you thought they was? These are not the words, so. You know where you fucked up at, right, though? Where? Because people be making a mistake. You know how you can log on and read the lyrics? But then you come to realize, especially if it's a song that you know, no. Oh, now those the, lyrics be wrong. No, exactly. You know that them people, they be like, that's not what that means. That's not That's not, That's not. not what he's saying there. I that's know for I a said. fact. I've rapped this song 15,000 times. So I'm going to tell y'all this you now. Have my water, please? I'm going to tell y'all this now. At any point, if we ever become held hostage and I got to be the one to sing the lyrics, the correct lyrics to the song to get us out. It's a wrap. Yeah, don't bet your last dollar on me. What if it's a Rihanna song, though? Still I know the words, but again, sometimes I just say what I think it should say. So again, don't bet your last dollar on me. So hold on, wait. You think it's a nigga? If it, if a nigga gonna stand there with a gun in your head, like sing these songs, you think he gonna pull up the lyrics on his uh on on his phone and be like, all right, sing? And then he read right, you know, right here, second stanza, bar you bet five. Not. He'd be like, nah. Well, technically, it says it's not fine two, not five two, sir. Because I damn sure gonna say fine two on one segment of it, and then the next part is gonna be fine two. Yeah. I asked you to hang my water. You just gonna look at it. It's going to be both of those in that song. Mm -hmm. And then, what's that other song that I, I was... I think I'm Big Meech. <laughs> no, go ahead. Say what you said. Say what you thought they said. Say what you thought they said. Come on. Go oh, ahead. Now you're going to make me look like an ass. <laughs> yeah, no, I say it. You from the suburbs. You forgive me. Can't no real nigga look, get that mixed cause up. Because I, I didn't know what the hell he was saying because I didn't understand. He just be saying it in his, his little Rick Ross voice. So his little Rick Ross I voice. I thought he said Larry Oogie. <laughs> Larry, who the fuck is Larry? Ooh, I don't know. Shit, I told you I just make up the shit that it's. I think that it sounds like. So you think he said, "I think I'm Big Meech." You know who Big Meech is? No. You don't know who Big Meech no. is? No. Okay. Larry Oogie. Larry Oogie. <laughs> <laughs> so you just think these are just niggas he just named? Me. I just thought it was people that he just knew, and I was like, oh well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't it's, know those people, but it's, it's Larry Hoover. Yeah, but it didn't sound like Hoover. Because he, I think I'm Big Meech. Mm, Larry Oogie. <laughs> <laughs> what? It sounds like he be taking deep breaths in between the songs. Yes, so. it's Rick Ross. Yeah, it's so cadence. it sound like Larry Oogie. <laughs> oh, hey, Lord. he be stumbling and mumbling on the words. No, That's, he don't. No, no, no. Rick Ross uh, uh, voice okay. inflections well, and all that. Well, my ears heard stumbling and mumbling. That's your suburban ears. If you was from How the hood, you would know what time it was. You wasn't throwing up gang signs in the club to that How song. How about so. that? Um, so I did want to ask you, how was Halloween? Before we get into like what's going on this week, how was your, your Halloween? Because you, we talked about it last week. You was big on Halloween. Did your costume come out the way you wanted? Did you have fun passing out candy at your parents' house? Like, how'd that go? It did. Halloween was fun. I had a lot of fun. And uh, Bonnie and Clyde came up to me. I was like, oh, my gosh, your outfit was amazing. 
the real Bonnie and Clyde or like you know when but they had that gun on them too was it they a real gun up. nah it wasn't a real okay. gun they, they had real red cups though they was walking around with they their cups they had of real liquor. red cups they I'm did. sure that's safe but what about Halloween but they were walking not driving so you're ruining Halloween for the and kids. so we was passing out candy and they was like thank you guys for still passing out candy and you know so what we did we tried to make it a little COVID safe make it COVID friendly yeah. so we pre-packaged candy in little Ziploc bags y'all so was bagging up candy we were were and then put we put it in the little kids bag mm-hmm. so, so y'all bagged way, it up and y'all passed it out on the block so like, that way sounds like you was nobody big touched it was you larry, we touched did you it go we as bagged larry it up oogie? with gloves so did you go as larry oogie <laughs> no i was mad hatter actually okay i thought it was like the mad hatter's daughter or something yes or the mad, mad hatter's, hatter's i was the delightful hatter you didn't go sexy mad hatter where like you just wear a thong in the hat no it was it got a little cold outside that was later on that night. Show, yeah that's only that's <laughs> within G-14 the household classified gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah but no it was fun we passed out candy we blast music as we sat outside we had fires yeah. going we even had the dog out she didn't do any crazy barking she just yes was, she did she don't like people she only barked when like certain folks with the mask walked up but other than that, the little kids was like, oh, my gosh, is that a real dog? And then like, yes, they walked stupid. all the See, way. See, this is why them kids need to get out of cyber school and go back to regular school. <laughs> yes, it's did. a real dog. Do it look like a fucking they robot? They just... Stupid child. How, how big was them kids? They was all little kids. And they was like, can we pet her? We was like, no. No, she doesn't like you, little you niggers. You can't pet her. No, no. But you can look at her. People be asking that. Does he bite? Because they don't know if it's a girl yeah. or not. I'm like. Don't who? all dogs bite? Right. Nigga. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in that. I don't pet other people's dogs and shit. Like, if you at somebody's house and they dog is cool and they just jump up on you and it's like rubbing up against you, being friendly and stuff. Okay, cool. But, like, if it's barking at you, you going to ask I'm if it's bite? I'm going to walk up to you. Nigga, like, <laughs> find out. You know what? Come over here and find out, stupid <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> right. God damn. What DMX say? He was walking around robbing people with the dog. He was like, "It's like a bullet that could bite your ass." And he was like, <laughs> "He said, nigga could dodge a bullet. You can't outrun this dog." <laughs> I was like, "Shit, I might need to start walking around the apartment complex with the dog." Like, babe, I'm about to go make a quick twenty dollars real quick. Come here, nigga. Get up, get stuck. Twenty? Dick. You get more than that over here in this kind of. I don't complex. think these niggas got money, man. They fix hey. their own cars. They over here fixing their own cars. They can't afford this. Hey, they got some. I don't know. Um. All right, so one of the, one of the topics this because you know I try not to overproduce this show like because we just be talking stuff stuff but like the election is going on now people have been calling us ignorant all week and this and that because we don't vote this and that now just because we don't vote don't mean we're not informed on stuff and we don't know what's going on now we got other stuff in the works is why we you know what I'm saying we subscribe to certain ideologies and theories or whatever the fuck but um I wanted to ask you. Like what's just been your take on it? Because we sat down and we watched a little bit of it like last night, as far as like with the electoral college and factoring in these votes. And now we understand it, but at a first glance, the shit can be confusing and off-putting. Yeah, like, I definitely it. understand it, but I need the, I need the full math breakdown. Mm-hmm. So for y'all out there who have the full breakdown, let me know. It's way too much math. How bro. many votes? How many votes? So just get you can give me any random state. How many votes add up to one electoral vote? Yeah, it's a science to that. It's a science, but I want to know exactly. It's based on the number of seats, I believe. But I want to know the exact number. So how many? Because, okay, say that 7,000 folks voted, but then this only gives me 29 electoral votes. Yeah. So I want to know exactly how many votes does it take to make one I electoral they, I vote. I think they change it year to year, bro. Like, that's, that's what you're voting on. You're voting to see how the vote. <laughs> yeah, but I, I need the I need the math breakdown. I exactly want to know. I, you know, Google don't tell you. Google kind of walk you all around the circle. Nah, you got to keep telling it. you, you how many is on the electoral college. You got a smartphone. So I, I've been looking into it, but I want to know the exact breakdown. Um, but I'm all in. I'm all hands on deck. I'm watching it. I'm watching. It, so I, you I, see how then they did the little what if category. Oh what yeah, if nah, they start confusing niggas. Trump they, gets you see, state. you see the one dude got all confused. But no, I'm saying this and that. He said, yeah, yeah but I, I'm doing what you're doing. Oh, y'all see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, but if there. you give him this state and this state, so if we give Trump Arizona, Pennsylvania, uh, Nevada, we give him this, he'll win the election. Yeah. But then if we give these states to Biden, yeah. Biden will win with the perfect 270. Yeah. And that's what it's looking like, cause he like literally six six yeah. electoral votes away. Biden gonna Can get you talk it. into the microphone, please? Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> Biden gonna get it definitely. He um he uh 
I think he's six away. He's last I checked, he was at, yeah, at two sixty four, yeah. and Nevada he was in the lead, and Nevada's worth ironically six electoral votes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. If they try to do some shady shit at the they end, already are. Donald be, Trump is is filing a lawsuit yeah, against oh yeah. Michigan we know and that Pennsylvania he's going to be an asshole all the way until the end uh, to stop counting the ballots. He's going to declare a recount. But didn't Bush do that same thing? Yeah. Declare a recount. Yeah. Okay. And they dragged it out. Um, the funny part about this is I saw a meme because you know I, we didn't gather none of it. Well, we got a few of them, but memes I saw. I guess that's th- that's this segment then now. Memes I saw. It was like a uh, Detroit saved the world because <laughs> of Michigan uh, uh, coming out as a uh, uh, being as a swing state. It came out as Democratic, so that's ironic. Um, but no, I found it just again. And we kind of talked about it on the show, and we're gonna go into more detail on the the main episode this week. But like, you see the ugliness in people, and I ain't even oh, talking. Yeah. I'm talking about like our own people because you see yeah. how people, how bad people, just kind of down talk you because you. It's not even a matter of vote or not vote, but just because you're not doing what they want you to do, how they want you to do. Oh, it. you all types of dumbasses and, and ignorant, and, and, yeah. and you. Oh, that's your problem, and you're the reason why. They said, "Don't talk to me if he ends up winning." It's like, all right. But you're the reason why the way that you're talking to folks like that. Yeah. yeah. Your attitude is the reason why. And you can't just b- learn to let people do them. Yeah, you cuz at the end of the day you should and that's all we've been preaching on this platform is you should vote and you should vote to your interest. Now, if I have no interest in it, why do I got to vote? You feel me? Like I'm not voting for a place yeah. of ignorance. I'm vo- I'm vo- I'm, vo- I'm uh let choosing not to. Let everybody do them. Yeah. Let people do them. You can't worry about the next person. You don't live for the next person. Yeah. So worry about you. As long as you doing right, yeah. go according to your will. Well, well it, <laughs> it, 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 I'm with you there. I just feel like now again. So I let it. I let it marinate for a couple of days. I let everybody rock because you know I don't get too like I get into the back and forth. But like I be trying. I don't do the trying to prove my point shit. Normally, most of the time I ain't got time to go back and forth with a fool. Yeah. Well, no, that too. I but don't go back and forth with What those. I try to do is by, with, with my back and forth I, People end up saying What I what I was going to say anyway mm-hmm. Right So I, I ask the question to people Like We understand that Local voting does matter Right And it is important Got it We understand that The electoral college Is going to make The ultimate decision That's just how it does It could go either way It's funky with the math We understand all that Whoop de whoop Okay But for those of y'all that's out there yelling at people and encouraging people to vote and doing all this and that, or not encouraging, but like like beating them over yeah, the head, chastising people to vote or trying to bully people into voting and stuff. If you really cared, or if you truly believe, not cared, I would say if you truly believed that uh, voting uh, locally mattered the way that y'all said it would, y'all would be out here arguing and like beating people over the head about the local stuff. Not over the presidential stuff, right? And, and I said that. So people was like, well, we're, we're the president. We're not all in the same place. So why would we vote? Why would we argue about the the the, uh, the local stuff? And I had to tell her, like, nah, like on my timeline, and not even my timeline, but Inaudible Ruck is just kind of listenership. Uh, a good bulk of it is scattered or, or like, I won't say scattered, but it's between Ohio, because we got a lot of Cleveland listeners, a lot of Cincinnati listeners, a lot. Of, mm-hmm. I don't want to leave nobody out. We just got a hella Ohio listeners, Dayton, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Toledo, Columbus. Uh, I know I'm forgetting somebody, but all them cities, right in Ohio. And then I said Cleveland, right? Got to shout out. Cleveland. Yes, you said. Okay, just make sure because you know <laughs> where Cleveland at. Okay, then we got hella people in Detroit. We got hella people in the South, you know, Houston, Dallas, all of that stuff, right? I don't see the Dallas people arguing with the Dallas people over the the, the Senate. I don't see uh, Texas people yeah. arguing about the senators and the governor. I don't see Michigan people arguing over the governor and the Senate seats. I don't see uh, people in Ohio arguing over county judges and this and that. I see everybody arguing about the president. Yeah. And when I yeah. broke it down that way, they was like, yeah, you got a point. Because y'all just want to argue with niggas. Y'all not really trying to teach nobody. They y'all just want really to argue. And then if you really want to take it to that part there... Obama said it himself, the president is just a small part of the election. Yeah. 
we the bigger parts of it is your sentences. cities and your senates uh, yeah, yeah, and everything. Because yeah, yeah. that's where so all the laws mean, is making, the representatives. Yeah, all your, your mayors and then your little city councils mm-hmm. in your state. Because you could you, send it on the board you, here. You could have the president, you could have a Republican president and have all Democratic seats, like how the majority like in the House, mm-hmm. right? Or it'd be vice versa. So that president ain't, ain't and I think I, I, I could be wrong. I'm not the, the best in the political space, but I know enough. But Barack was the Democratic president, but it was hella Republicans in the seat, so that's why I'm like getting a lot of stuff passed or whatever, right? But that's the game. You feel exactly. me? And if I don't it's feel like if, if I don't feel like playing the game, then I don't feel like playing the game. But anyway, anything else you want to add to that? Right now, it looked like Biden up, but you know anything could happen. Because I also read somewhere that they lost over three three hundred thousand uh, ballots that were mailed in. Of course. And then so I asked somebody. They was like, of oh, course. They, they was like, yeah, man, I mailed mine in. I was like, yours got there. They sent me a track and saying that it got there. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, we received it. <laughs> yeah, no, we really ain't Nigga, I see the dude over, over around back in the creek dump, the dumping some envelopes in the in the swamp. But then I see and then in were, three weeks, y'all going to see all these little papers that's going to start floating all in the New York they, River. They, 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 they all in the water in New York and everywhere else. Yeah. Mississippi River. Your ballot, ballot going to be over there floating in Zimbabwe. They sent your ballots the same place where they sent the uh, the uh, Miami Heat Championship <laughs> t-shirts. Bro, the, whoever lose the championship series and they ship them the other box of shirts and stuff, that's where your shit is. It's all good, though. Uh, but it brings, off of that, I don't want to exhaust. We got weeks and months to finish talking about the rest of that. Yeah, we got a long way to go. Uh, one of the things that we have talked about just kind of in our household, though, like just becoming better people. We, and we strive to do that anyway, right? And this is just for everybody out there. So I want to ask you, Neezy, just as far as like we talk about like generationally, right? And one of the things why I can move on and I can say the things that I say on here is because I've talked with the younger folks, uh, a lot of the the... the uh, other people in the crew like got kids and, and got young ones and then we got little cousins and stuff like that and, and nieces and nephews your little sisters you know what i'm saying and listening to them talk i feel confident in the people want to dog the young folks but i feel confident in the in like where we headed as far as the future i feel like the future is looking bright right and i can say that just because when you talk to them they clear like about their intentions and like why would i do that yeah that's stupid and it's not so much they trying to climb but it's like nah like they've seen all the different angles they don't seem easily persuaded either yeah they like nah they they ask the questions and it's like like think of something as simple as like college right go to college do this snap it was like you know what i'm saying embedded into me like go to college you got to get your degree you got to get your good job with benefits and they looking at it like i don't want to spend all that money for and they have to owe all this money i could just start doing this and make money now what do i need to go to school to do that for well no you got to get your education see because you get your job the fuck i need a job for i could sit up here and record this on social media and get paid how much yeah i mean you you got look look at it you got your people who want to do school and it's still enough of them that can carry us around for generations then you got your other folks, like you said, your YouTube stars, your Instagram influencers. It's making big money off of that. And it's like, yeah, why would I wonder that I can keep starting businesses and pass my businesses on down to my kids? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to ask you, as far as like in passing that, right, we got to kind of and, you know, we are we are that that bridge right between kind of the old school and the new school. So what what is just your thoughts just on some of the stuff as far as like unlearning certain things or relearning unlearning and then relearning or like just adding new stuff to it like what's your thoughts just on kind of peeling back that because you like me if we super old school because we had the influence of our grandparents yeah. in our lives too so we had a, a lot of that old old generation then we had our parents stuff and then we had to come up of age like underneath all of that so like what's your thoughts one thing when we do have kids and they get to the part of where they got to go to school or you know whatever you want to do for college you you, i'm not gonna push that oh you got to go to school to be a doctor or a nurse or you got to be a lawyer we ain't pushing that on them because if that's not what you want to do you're not gonna succeed but why not they saying it's gonna be a shortage of doctors in the next couple years because ain't nobody going to school to be doctors exactly but if it's not what you want to do you can't push somebody to do it that's how you have all these malpractice lawsuits because that's not really what this person wanted yeah, to do they like man fuck they this nigga today. It. we're gonna operate on this nigga man fuck him man his kid so you can't keep pushing somebody to do something if that's not what they want to do that's definitely what i stress there 
um, definitely pursue your passions and your dreams. Find out what you're good at. Mm -hmm. And for me, also, you cannot, uh, you got to tell your kids, you can't expect for this new generation that's coming up to go and work this nine to five for 30, 40 years yeah. and come that, out that ain't home retirement. Yeah, that ain't that's not, fly. it's not the same no more. Yeah. You ain't getting these 30, 40 years, getting pensions and yeah, everything yeah. coming out. That ain't the same no more. Yeah. Well, so, well that, that, and that kind of bring me to my point about teaching like entrepreneurship and this and that. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm glad I got my degree, but looking back at it, it's like, man, I had the entrepreneur spirit early and I, I went to school. Now, you need the balance because on a higher level, yeah, how to do you business. you got to learn, too. Yeah. And learn the independence. But, and, and you know this, you can teach yourself how to do stuff on your own, though. You don't need to pay $20,000 for somebody else to teach you that shit. Because somebody like yeah, you. Yeah, because I learned. Like, yeah. You, you'll I go learned. on YouTube, find a video on it, do this, and then you, you learn it. I can see it one time and I got it. Yeah. So, and I see that, too. Um, I will say, too, and I, this is with everything. You know, I'm always preaching about communication. You got to see what the young folks is feeling, though. We can't just, man, you're stupid. You got to do this net, Man, y'all generation don't know nothing. Y'all don't appreciate nothing. You'd be surprised at what these young people appreciate. Exactly. Because they, 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 they are loyal to what they're passionate about, right? And it, like, if there's something that they care about, like the causes and this and that, they arrive They're going to stick it. to it. Yeah. And, and they don't care who they got to argue with. They'll argue you till you blue in the face. And if you violate, they might beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, pfft. Try one of these young dudes if you want to. Exactly, exactly. I mean, because you got to look at it, too. Just look at, I mean, if you want to go for something that people always say, you making money doing that, you going to school to be an artist. Going to school to be a little DJ. Look, That's what they used to tell me, a podcast. Look at how, I mean, right there, for instance, look at how much money people are making in podcasts. Yeah, millions look of dollars. Look how much money people are making in just black art yeah. look at your black artist if you're just you're painting these pictures of natural hair girls and just natural families mm -hmm. look at how much money people are making people just paying to put that because art. They, they want art they buy their now, fancy and i'm not houses. just gonna say regular art because we've already known that art has been yeah. in the making all your little galleries and everything we're talking about now black art yeah Look at how much people are making just doing that. Shout and, out to my dog Jono. He has a, like, a gallery now, that, so. that he had going and stuff uh, at the Irwin House, I believe, in Detroit, and it's like showcasing oh. black artists and stuff. Yeah. And See, it's, it's getting people, a lot of love. Let people pursue their passions, and I mean, you gonna figure it out sooner or later. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta hit rock bottom. Not now. This is the thing too, and this is where I kind of position myself, right, for for, for that generation. They may not want to listen to these old niggas because these old niggas ain't trying to listen to them. But they do need some level of guidance and they some do. level of some. So I'm, that's, I feel like that's where our generation That's comes where in Uncle from. Skeet comes from. Because I'm the cool uncle. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Neezy here. I wanted to make sure that y'all go and get your Naturally Nate Instant Moisture Duo. That's right. You know, this Instant Moisture Duo can be used on braids, locks, twists, beards, and all of your natural hair. The moisturizer is all natural ingredients. One of our key ingredients, aloe vera. You know, aloe vera is really great for your scalp. And our oil blend is a mixture of the best oils that you can use to promote hair growth and give your hair a good shine and overall just a natural glow. So you're getting two amazing products. Make sure you go to inaudibleruckus.com slash naturally nay. And also you can follow us on Instagram at naturally underscore nay, N-A-E-E. -E. We're not as strict and as so old school as our parents and grandparents yeah. were. We are those. We're millennials, so we're right yeah. in the. <laughs> we're right in the middle, so we know the new. What is there? Gen Z. That's what they are. Yeah. We know their generation, and then we know our parents' generation. The boomers. Yeah. Yeah. So we right here in the middle. We learned well, both no, sides. What are of, they? No, they generation. No, I think X. grandparents are boomers. Yeah, right? and then the people before us is Generation X. We generation know. Y. I don't know. I can't even. I'm not gonna even get into all that and wreck my brain. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this because. It was a little harder for what our for our parents' generation to start learning computers and mm -hmm. everything like that. So we come in here, we got the computers, we got the algebra, we got all of that, yeah. and we got this new, we got the new stuff, we got the iPhones and everything. So we right here, we hip. You you know what would be amazing? The, like when people we have, understand both sides of the spectrum is what I'm getting. No, at. yeah, yeah, but but 
understanding that i remember when ipads and ipods and all that stuff first was coming out and we had to learn it but now these kids grow up with it and you got little babies that just know yeah, how to work an iphone and it. click it and they can get to the game because we had to that. teach our grandparents how to do it yeah with I, the I cell re- phones and flip phones i, I remember, remember teaching my parents facetime like what yeah I remember my granny got a computer and all it was, you couldn't do much on it. All you could do was just play the little games or whatever, mm-hmm. play solitaire, play hangman yeah. and, and pipe dream and something else. And literally that's all she used to do. My granny would sit up there and play solitaire on it. Just yeah. t- 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 that's all the computer was for. It was sitting in the living room and everything. Hey, can I use your computer to type a paper? We don't have Microsoft Word on here, bro. And we have floppy disks or whatever. Yeah. But yep. again, we ain't had then nothing. You know you it was had no word processing. dial up. Oh, yeah. I have my own phone line and stuff, man. But kids today will never know about that because it's Wi-Fi. Exactly. Wi-Fi. Um, and don't let the Wi-Fi go down. Oh, it nah. is like the end of the world. What, what my mama say, when they shoot the satellites out the sky. <laughs> they um, don't know how to function with just a pen and paper. Yeah. But no, that, it, it's good. And that's where, you know, again, y'all can vote. Y'all can do all this and that. That's cool. But I'm more so concerned with just providing guidance for like the younger folks who need it, man. I, I feel like I, I've been a, a this and I've been on this way for years now because I got younger cousins and this and yeah. that, and I kind of position myself as kind of that that, that go between, and they listen to me, right? So that's why I just try to soak up as much information. Yeah, I get on here and just be talking shit, but like the game that I be kicking behind the scenes and stuff to the people who listening, like it's working. Yeah. I can say that much, and I that's why I can double down and say you. You know what I'm saying? The future is bright and I ain't concerned about what y'all got to say. If y'all call me ignorant for not voting, because as long as the kids understand, well, and not even the kids, but you know what I'm saying? Like the next generation after me, as long as they understand what's good and, and they know how to move, then I did my job. Exactly. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, I want to talk to you because like in our house, we, we you know, we trying to level up. So we 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 incorporated like books. Uh, we, we, we've been reading, but we incorporated like book time, reading time, right? So we picked up some new books. We each got a new book this week. Now, what book did you get? So I got the Jennifer Lewis book, The Mother of Black Hollywood. Okay. Definitely interested we read, in reading that. We read, now, we do read self-help books and stuff, but we be reading memoirs and stuff, too, because yeah. like it's real relatable and it helps you understand a, a, a lot of people in their journey and stuff. It, it's a lot resonate. So this is the, she the mother of Hollywood, right? Mm-hmm. What's some takeaways that you've gotten like so far? I haven't started yet. Oh. So, I thought you did. No, I haven't started reading it yet. I haven't read mine either. <laughs> oh. I got, no, I, so I no, read three books at a time, bro. I I'm haven't started book. yet. Um, what I'm still doing, I'm, I'm going to start this upcoming, or actually the weekend. I have more time there. Um, I've just been enjoying my new role at work, so getting into that. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a set. We'll talk about that in a set. No, 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 no. <laughs> work stays separate. Work okay, stays okay. Separate. You talk but about I've work? been into my new role. No, you so. seem happier though with your new role. Oh you yes, got definitely. promoted and everything. Now you don't know how to act on niggas now. No, no I don't. You, you too good for the little podcast now. <laughs> I'm too good to talk yeah. to any person, any customer. <laughs> so, so, well, you talk. You better talk to us. Damn it. Oh no, y'all my fans. So she the mom of Hollywood, right? She, and now it's funny though because like when you see these things you go back she's in everything she's in everything and again like she her book says she is the mother in every one of these shows and movies that you're watching yeah and it's like oh okay look at her yeah and so i got on uh, the rick ross book hurricanes it came out last year or the year before last i think you don't. You got it covered because like, he could have picked. I a really better think cover. yes, he could have picked, picked a better, a better cover. cover than that of, instead of him just staring at you like a psycho killer. Because you just, just sit him. here. If you're sitting on the couch, he and wants then you to this look in book, his eyes and feel his pain. You sitting bro. on the couch and then this book. You look down. This book is just man with these big eyes just staring he at you. He could have just been standing on the beach smoking a cigar with an umbrella with a storm Something in the background. To do with a hurricane. It's, like, it's talking about hurricanes in life. And like how like you know you could be going Hurricane through life and the storms come in. Games. It's gonna be dope. I, I heard good things I about it. From. I read the fifty book, hustle harder, hustle smarter. I, I got a lot of good takeaways from that. I read the Pimp C book a couple years back. I read the Jay Prince book. And I when I read these books, man, it be a lot of confirmation for me, man. It's a lot of people, a lot of powerful people that I feel like have gone through, you know, what I'm saying similar things or came from similar places, and they just kind of just persevered and got to where they was at. So that's what I be reading about. Um, no. You don't agree. Look, you just, 
look, it looked interesting though. You reading all through it. No, I was just trying to figure out the year for you, but I didn't see it. I, I seen him. He his promo run was like the end of uh, 2019. Like okay. it, I think September 2019 is when he came gotcha. out. Read it when you read it. People, but like, I gotta get it as soon as it drops. No, I don't. And shout out to Smiles because he um he recommended it. Um uh, and shout out to Smiles because we did a feature on, on the uh, music impulse. It's supposed to drop in a couple weeks, so y'all make sure y'all check out for that. Smiles is doing his thing, man. It's like a Black Love series that he's doing. And you know, anytime you think of Black Love, baby, you we think in that of thing. The ski All right. So before we get up out of here, we got like three minutes. Um, it's time for questions. You ready? Yeah, questions. We got to do a little ding, ding, make a little noise there. I'll figure something out. Question segment. Girl, is it easy to love me now? Hay preguntas. Is it, what? What was that? Questions. In Spanish? Yeah. You know Spanish? Poquito. Okay. Más o menos. Poquito. Hi. Okay. Orale. Um. Señorito. <laughs> all right. I'm about to end this part if you keep playing with me, man. I ain't even know what that meant. Anyway, that's the insider. You can't bring that outside. Even though we might have brought it inside. I don't know. Um, Question. You ready? Yes. Girl, is it easy to let me now? Is it easy when I'm down? Look, I'm like you. Still have love for me. I love you like a fat kid love cake. <laughs> I wish we could use that. We can't, you know, they don't let you play other people's yeah, music no, on the shit. They be trying it. to ban your shit. Um, no. All right. But they never said that an easy couldn't say it, though. Right. And those that song, I do know the lyrics too. Thank you very much. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say. I you know, didn't. but you was thinking it. I, was. I read your thought I was. Who 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 gave you those abilities? God. I gave you the ability to, to read thought bubbles. Nope. God. That's did. my ability. God created me. That's my superhero power. Anyway, 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 this question because we gotta go. We run along. What? We trying to keep these short. Damn questions, man! You the one over here keep singing Look, the song. Because it was a segue. Shh. Come on, say your. All right. Keep playing with me. Is it important to be right or to be happy? It's always important, man. You know, <laughs> gotta be important. No, I'm saying like like. Uh, for me, it's Im- it's important to be happy. Are you sure? Yeah, cause I mean, as long as I know I'm right, I don't care what you feel. Again, <laughs> not to even sound mean, cause I just We're the talk- way that it came out. I don't care uh, how you no, feel. no, no, okay. But uh, for me, it's important to be happy because at the end of the day, you don't want to be miserable and lonely. So sometimes you gotta take an L. Like, okay, well, I know I'm right, but yeah, you're right, honey. Yeah, babe. Oh wait, we talk the about sky the, is purple. Hold on. We talk about in the parameters of the relationship because that's what the questions are always based on our relationship, right? Nigga, I'm right. Nigga, what you mean? Okay, yes, honey, the sky is purple so, today. Nah, see, but you got nah. Go see, now now we done uncovered this. That's why some of the same arguments be coming up again because you just be saying it just to say it. You don't even like register whether or not it's right or wrong. Yes, babe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forget you. It was orange yesterday. I know. See. You're right. I was going to say happy, but to be contrary, I'm going to say being right because I'm right 85% of the time. And I know this You're because right. the other 15% of the time that I'm not right, I just be being quiet. You're right. I only speak Definitely. on what I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay. you right. I see how you're going to do. Two could play that game. All right. It's cool. All right. Bet. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, here, oh, which leads me to the next question. Do you believe in planning revenge or waiting for karma? Now, this ain't because, you know, we don't plot on each other. This is just like open to like everything. Oh, for me, I just wait for karma. I ain't got time for revenge. Cause what about that time you was trying to plan to do X, Y, and Z to some people? What? Nothing. What are you You ain't never about? tried to plot on nobody before? Nope, because I'd be like, oh, you're going to reap what you sow. I think about it now. I trust That's me. what I'm saying. So, I think so do you, about it. Okay. I think about it, but... The better person than me, the more mature version of me for like what? The last six years. As you hiss all into the microphone for the listeners out <laughs> there. My bad, there. y'all. My bad. My bad for your ears. The last six years. Um, yeah, I, I don't have time for revenge. I'm mature. So what about just, them times I tried to let stuff slide and, and for people violating and you was encouraging me to like do stuff to people? I gotta. I still gotta say it, but I mean, sometimes I can just talk because we ain't actually you. do it. You gotta I release you. it. I but I, I have learned, and I mean, a lot of people gonna criticize for this, but I have learned. Let me just pray on it because you gonna reap what you sow. And when I pray on it and I let it go, 
vengeance is mine said oh the Lord. yeah and then you see that these folks they be god makes your enemy your footstool that's all i gotta say yeah. I, i'm just gonna say <clears throat> i believe in karma now because <sighs> trouble is expensive and i don't have enough money to get bailed off and no all assault charges bro so i'd rather just you know um keep it moving until we get rich enough and then I can put a little money to the side. That way if I wanna slap the shit out of somebody, it's just like slap the shit out of this nigga. Call the lawyer up. Go to jail tonight. <laughs> or I can look at you and be like, babe, go ahead and call the lawyer up. Cause I'm about to punch this nigga in this shit. Well, no, I, I ain't even gotta do that. Or I just have a person who just stand there and they just bout it, bout it. Yeah. Hey, just give them that look. Handle that. Um, that's conspiracy to commit murder. But alright. Um <laughs> No, no, no. Ain't nobody finna take nobody out like that and just gonna rough him up a little bit. <laughs> sure. Might break a toe. A toe. All right. What is the one thing you would say is making your marriage successful? This is like another one that we did. Our communication. Uh-huh. It always reverts back to the communication. Communication. Because in the beginning, we know. Not even our marriage, just dating. It was like, oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> Wait, what? You couldn't stand me? Damn, that hurts. Man, shut up, because you know you got tired of me. No, I But didn't. it was to the point where, Never. like, when we, if we had tolerance. an argument, like you said, you got tired of, oh, you always shutting down. Just tell me what's going on. So, our communication. Because I'm not in your head. How am I supposed to know? You're supposed to know. Women are weird like that. They just want you to know. But no. you, you're my man. You're supposed to be able to read my mind. Woman man, talk. You know? Just know my eye communication. Nah. But that's, no, that's, that's how women act. Is. Women, you sh- you just should know. You should know me. How? Because you should. I mean, it's just a woman thing. You actually should know. What about you? What what's successful communication? I'm big on that. I say that, and I I just say um, and not so to take it a level deeper communication, but like communicating on like like how we feel about certain things, right? So it's like all right, we get something simple. Which one eat tonight? Instead of just assuming it's not, I will communicate. Well, I got a taste for this. I got this. We talking through it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like it's like talking through the, like the solutions. Because you know you got to do the taste test when you know what you got to figure out what you want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do, gotta, wait, do it again. Do, do your it little again. mouth like. See what there you, you go smacking in people's ears again, man. People are listening to this. You gotta do what you gotta taste for. But not only, but like, so, so even now, like, we got a couple um, big decisions that we gotta make, like, as far as like looking at houses and stuff like that and stuff. And they just kind of communicate, like, what do you think of this? Uh, I don't like it. Instead of just, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever to make you happy. Yeah, going you back to the point about, about being right versus these happy. big ass beams in the middle of the living room. Yeah, that shit was stupid. <laughs> and I'm looking like, well, where's the extra room to podcast that? Oh, well, there ain't going to be no extra room. Well, I guess it ain't going to be no house then. <laughs> Nigga. Oh, you could just do it in the living room. Yeah. And then when you have company coming over and people be loud, then like all the other guest hosts that used to do it where they have people just showing up in the middle of the What's show. What's up, man? Can I be on your podcast too? Oh. Hey, y'all. Uh, oh, oh, you doing a podcast? Oh, shit. Okay. That's what. Nigga, I'm doing the show. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, can I say something on your podcast? I like Roses turtles. Is red. <laughs> Violet is blue. Yeah. Sugar is sweet. And so are you. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> if, I guess this is for me, if your wife made more money than you, would that be a problem? Hell no. And it's happened before with us being down here. Remember when I had to be a house husband in Houston? <laughs> yep. Shit. I think you still, do you make more money than me now? I do. Damn. That's fucked up. Until this podcast blow up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah, again, yeah. you are. You're going to go back to being the full time big parlay shot color exactly with the bins with the spoiler exactly no um i don't care we on a team and exactly it, all don't, money in. it never matters right now because again we're still taking care of our household yeah because i mean when you was working nigga i was doing the laundry and it was like cook dinner i had to do this i had to do that like so it's like all right whatever you need me to do oh, I'll i do had it. to take the dog to the appointment okay yeah all of that now now i don't know that paperwork shit Nah, <laughs> I can do it. Let's be clear. I'm capable of all these things. You are, definitely. but it's like I got a wife, so why Would do, you I, gotta, rather, why do I, I gotta do these things? Because I mean, it, again, certain things when you just come into the mix, I already had a system down pat. Yeah, so exactly, and vice versa. Um, all right, last question. What if you could be a crime fighter? What would you be? 
and then would you function in, as as a team like on some superhero shit like would you function as a team or an individual um until i can think of what my my crime would crime fighting would be i would be a team because you work better as a team yeah and getting it all fixed and resolved but crime fighter what yeah. night would it be on some batman shit no no some spider-man shit you the neighborhood I'm, I'm cool with batman but again i'm a marvel fan so, so would, i'm saying spider-man you the neighbor would you be the neighborhood superhero just kind of going around saving cats from trees and no. helping old ladies cross the street no i'm gonna be more on your iron man level i'm gonna take out your big level threats oh, okay so like because, uh, the ufos and the zombies the and not even and not even just zombies and all that. we're talking about real life man if i had real life powers because ain't we ain't even take out no zombies i'm talking about like your terrorists i'm gonna take them out okay. i'm gonna take out anybody who's a rapist your thieves i'm taking them out see so i'm with you but i would rather have i feel like you got to go through all this clearances we've seen with avengers and stuff right you got to get approved by the government because of all the damage you've caused trying yeah. to save lives and stuff and it's an act against you i like the function in the shadows i would like to be more community based like how spider-man was um as far as my superpowers i think i could just have like a like the punisher just have a bunch of guns and some baseball bats and shit mm -hmm. and we just ride around like like the a-team just ride around in a van and just hop out fucking people up for but violating see, the only reason why i don't want like that level to be all behind the shadows because i want the authorities to know me so when they nah, I don't when want i step up they like oh yeah that's such and such we're gonna fall back or, and then you ain't got to worry about, like, so say you. You just regular old low uh -huh. out here doing what you got to do. Oh, man, this is a black man. What you doing, Mr. Black Man? And now they finna <laughs> shoot you. But who you step police? up. Yeah, because nah, they I'm don't a, know who you are. You I'm behind throw, the scenes. I'm going to throw a smoke bomb and disappear. Ninja, vanish. <laughs> And it's just uh huh. Yeah, we got street cameras. We find out where you They're not going to find me. I'm okay. going to leave my cell phone at home but you so know they don't me. ping on the towers. I'm, the authorities know me. All right, man, let me step back. The authorities knew Batman. They work together. It Did was they like, know Bruce Wayne? Well, they knew him because he was rich. But what if Bruce Wayne was out here? What if he got I, into it? I'm going to wear a mask. Hypothetically, what if Bruce Wayne got into a rape charge and they couldn't even, they'd be like, oh, well, we can't just let you off just because you're Bruce Wayne. What you mean? You mean if Batman caught a rape charge? No, if Bruce Wayne, he's not in Batman form. He's right. just they, Bruce, but they, they the don't rich know. Man. They don't know that he's Batman. Exactly. They don't know who he is as for Batman. But if they knew he was Batman, I mean, not just to say rape that he can just get off right, right but right. if they know that he was batman they be like, let hey, him go that's batman batman ain't do that man nah. he ain't raping see nobody. i don't want no pr first off not gonna be raping nobody so that's one two that's part of having your secret identity that's like what i do with it in my regular life it's like nigga like i'm the shit like outside and nobody knows it but i just gotta just play this like you know docile unassuming hey guys what's up my name's Lauren. <laughs> like and it's like nigga like i'm that nigga but anyway that's how it would be like i just wear a mask i drive around policing the neighborhood like policing the police like that's what i'm trying to nah, do like, give me my clearance i'm trying bro. to beat this shit i don't want the police to know me because if the police out here fucking with black people i need to be able to beat the police ass too and then they oh this vigilante we, he needs to be stopped and i just keep fucking them up and then disappearing ninja vanish no nah, but if you know who i am and i'm also with the clearance of the authority i'm gonna roll up on you hey bro why you fighting black people come on let's but, go but if they know who you are and you're registered in the superhero database like we saw in the watchmen and all that stuff you in the database and they can come get you anytime they want to you're but on they the ain't grid gonna need to they, you think that now they ain't gonna need to get me until another president comes in and say get rid of all <laughs> get rid of all the superheroes i mean all of them they are very bad people very bad there's just very bad people just get rid of them all <laughs> right well i mean at that point in time you know we got to take him out then Shit. all right just make sure when you see that van driving around and niggas is hopping out man you just move I'm accordingly a superhero, i gotta take him out you get pistol whip like if you out here messing with like like women and kids and stuff man a nigga just hop out of like van Megamind. and just pistol whip you in your head nigga be like hey what you doing over here this is sundown town. You're like what? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing around here? Pack of wood. <laughs> this is your pack of wood cracker. <laughs> what you doing around here, boy? Give them some you of their own medicine and stuff. <laughs> Best you gonna find out tonight. Right. I shall pistol whip thee and strike down with great iron. <laughs> <laughs> Just cracking nigga upside his head. Now go and get. <laughs> yeah, they go to rest my ass. <laughs> going to jail now. Yeah, Mr. Black Man. Yeah.
You's gonna get it. Well, you know this. And you don't. We what we learn from watching Incredibles. Don't wear a cape. <laughs> exactly. You learn that in all your superhero movies, even Incredibles. Yeah. Incredibles. That's what I no, said. no, no, That's no. What I'm said. trying to think. Mega Mime. That's what yeah, I was don't thinking. Don't wear a cape. Mega Don't wear no cape, bro. Not one cape. All right, we about to slide up out of here, man. We just having a little fun. Help take y'all minds off the election and stuff, man. But it's the ski toss. It's not a ruckus, motherfucker. I warned you about the banging of the furnace, but you wouldn't listen. The party done.